MyPodTouchBaller.com. Thank you guys for checking out this quick little video. Today I will be showing you guys how to boot up your second generation iPod Touch after you have jailbroken it. As you know, I use the Tether jailbreak. And uh, if you use the Tether jailbreak, you know it's a pain because you always have to boot it up and everything. So I'm going to show you the easiest way to boot it up using the 2G boot folder. So I will switch over to my iPod so I can show you what to do there. Alright guys, so if you can see this, this is my iPod um, Touch. It is off, you guys, and you know I already have, you know I have a jailbroken. And I'll show you it's off real quick. You see, home button, nothing happening. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to boot it up like I've previously said. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to put it into DFU mode. Now, the easiest way to do this, well, the way to do this, you hold down the home button and the power button for 10 seconds together. Then you let go of the power button, hold down just the home button for another 10 to 12 seconds. Well, actually, it's anywhere from 8 to 12. Usually, it's 9 for me. So, we're going to get this done. And let's start now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, you see? Right there, 9. All right. Now, that's all you're going to want to do so far on your iPod. Now I'm going to switch over to my computer and we're going to run the actual boot process. And the way you'll know that it works is if iTunes pops up. So, let's switch back to my desktop. Okay, guys, after you have successfully put your iPod Touch second gen into DFU mode, we will be needing the 2G boot folder right here. So, what you want to do is just open up that folder and it open on my other monitor and drag it here and you'll see all these different files alright which the one you're gonna need is the one click boot um, that's the one you're gonna wanna run it's that simple after you put it in DFU mode so let's double click it and it will run like this your iPod touch at this point your iPod touch screen should go white And we'll just wait for it to finish up. And we'll run the rest of the codes in a sec. And we will have our iPod Touch back up. I'm just going to wait for it to boot here. And see, you hear that sound? It is now booting up. So, yeah. I'm going to switch to my camera so you can see it booting up. So, um, be right back. All right. All right, there, guys. It's booting up. It's uh running the stuff still. Oh, there's the white screen. Um, I just thought I'd rerun it so you can see the whole process. Um, so it's doing the USB connection and everything. And now it's finished up with those codes. There's the Apple logo. It is now successfully booting up. Um, iTunes should pop up once you put it into DFU mode. Um, like I said, and um. Yeah, it doesn't take long to boot up, you guys. It really doesn't, and it's quick, easy to do. Um, I don't know how anybody could really screw this up. Um, it's a really quick boot, one click, and um, so yeah. And iTunes will pop up before it gets to the home screen. That is normal. It detects like it's already on before it gets to the home screen. It just happened to me, so yeah. And we're going to wait for it to finish coming up before I leave you guys. And it should be up any moment now. It's almost done. Sorry about that little blink. As you see there, the screen just got brighter, which means it's almost done. And... Let me lower the brightness for you guys so you guys can see um, that it is booted up, but it is. You can see there. There's my home screen. I have to kind of put it in front. But, um, yeah. It's booted up. Can't really see it. Hold on. There it goes. Alright. So it is booted up. Um, 
And, uh, yeah, very simple, you guys. So, as I did in my last video, I'm going to be telling you guys what theme I'm using. I'm using the pump theme. Uh, thanks to AlexOx1234 for hitting me up and telling me about this theme. And also, the dock is called DockFlow iPod Forever Mac. Just look it up in Cydia. And we get the nice little cover flow dock. So, yeah, guys, it's Phil here. Um, thank you for watching this quick little tutorial. Um, I like doing these kind of tutorial videos, but I want to know what you guys like more. My tutorial videos or my reviews. I will still be doing both. I just want to see what you guys want to see more of. I want to know what you guys want. Because um, this is, your guys are the main reason I do this, guys. So, yeah. And because, I, of course, I enjoy it. But that's a whole other story. Um, and, yeah, what kind of videos do you guys want to see? Um, I'm planning on doing a tour of my area. Oops, cell phone. Cell phone. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I am planning on doing like a tour of my setups because I have two. This one, the one I'm doing on today is different than usual. It's my room with my dual screens. Let me turn my light on so you can see that I had it off so I can see my screen better. But um, yeah, it's my Acer 22-inch monitor right here. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's Acer. Yeah, now it's getting better to color. Acer 22 inch and my laptop and my power Mac down there with my keyboard on top of it so I have more room and uh, I'll be letting you guys know all about my setup in a later video so uh, yeah I want to know though guys what kind of videos do you guys want to see because it's all about you so it's Phil again comment rate subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one later